Philly putting the nail in. The funeral hearse for the uh, for the uh, Buffalo Bills. Sets up a field goal. The Bills with a classy goal line stand that meant nothing, but kept them two. Just a field goal, but 41-17 for the Bills of Kelly and Thomas and Wright and Bruce Smith and Cornelius Bennett and all of the All-Stars assembled by Marv Levy and Company. A true AFC dynasty, but the torch was passed on this afternoon at Bridge Stadium. Bledsoe douses Parcells, mildly amused, but he'll take it. And the changing of the guard. It's the Patriots that now have knocked the Bills mathematically with Kansas City's win out of the playoff picture, 41-17, New England scoring 38 unanswered points. Afterwards, Bruce Smith spoke about it. Maybe this is a, to, the best thing uh, that could happen to, to realize we gotta we gotta do some things during the offseason to to uh, put together the chemistry again to to go out and, and have a championship season. Uh, uh, I realize we have a salary cap, but at the same time, uh, there are ways of structuring things to 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 get a few few more players in here that uh, that can make a difference. San Diego had a shot for the third straight week to wrap up the AFC West. They lost their first two. Junior Seau playing hurt, but look at Seau, and this is Sean Lee making the stick on Johnny. Bills out of the playoffs for the first time since 87 at the Indianapolis Colts. Marv Levy, ah, chew some gum, laid back. Browning Nagel making his first start in two years and the former Jet from Louisville overthrows Floyd Turner. 6-0 Bills at the half. Ted Marchabroda, the one-time offensive coordinator for Marv Levy, turns it over to Jim Harbaugh in the third quarter. And uh, first and 10 Harbaugh to Floyd Turner and it picks up 12 yards. Then Roosevelt pop, finds a hole and makes a bigger one. Look at he blows past Matt Darby, the dinosaur, 24-yard game. Two plays later, Harbaugh. It's a pretty play to Turner, 13 yards, and the Colts lead it, 7-6. Next possession for Indianapolis. Marshall Falk on fourth and one. Gets a whole bunch. Look at the moves for the Marshall plan, 28 yards. Yeah, and I'll show you something just as pretty. Joe Stasniak and Will Wolford on the left side of the line, and look at them just collapse the Buffalo Bills inside. Marshall Falk never had to change, change directions until he got 10 yards downfield. His score is now 10 to 6, and Frank Reich trying to lead the Bills back to beat Metzelars down to the 6. Reich looking for Thurman Thomas. They figure he had a touchdown. Oh, just off his fingertips, but Tommy, he said he was interfered with. Yeah, as you watch the replay here, number 29, Jason Belzer, right there. Watch the right shoulder, the right arm pull back. That's where Thermal wanted the interference call, had a legitimate beat. The Bills get the ball back with under two minutes to go. Right, the done. Beep, 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 beep. Gain of 13 yards. BB had a big day catching eight balls for 111. Steve Christie had not missed over 40 yard field goal this year. So can they get into Christie's range? Right to BB, down to the 29. The worst words you could say to a Buffalo fan, believe us, we know. It's wide. Doink! Right, off the upright from 46 yards. And the Colts beat the Bills. And for Indianapolis, it, it's a nice job this season, finishing at 508 and 8 for Marcia Broda. The Colts sweep the Bills this year, winning by the count of 10 to 9. Uh, so uh, for the Buffalo Bills, uh, they, they need the rest, as we talked about last week. They will retool. They got some room under the cap. They may make a couple of player moves. They signed their center Kent Hall to a new contract this year. Now, let's go to the Arizona.